Welcome back to Everything Whiskey, I'm Callum. And I'm Sam. Today we're having a look at the Old Forester 1870. All right, so um, we haven't tried a ton of Old Foresters uh, until relatively recently because they've only just kind of come to Australia. Um, but for the ones we've had, uh, we've been pretty impressed just because of like obviously the flavor, but the value is like the biggest thing. Mm. Um, the pricing, even here, um, is pretty damn good for what you get. Um, now this one is like four plus years, uh, 45%. So it's a bit of like a bump on the base level kind of um, old forest though. It's like the next step up. Yeah. Uh, mash bill wise, I think it's 72% corn, 18% rye and 10% malted barley. Um, but yeah, so it's pretty, that's pretty standard with uh, bourbon. It's not gonna be, you know, super rye or anything like that. Um, but it does have that nice herbal touch to it. So if you're into classic uh, bourbons, this should be pretty much up your alley. Anything like that wood soaked, like apple juice kind of note with like a very like subtle vanilla as well. Yeah. It's fairly sweet. Yeah, it's sweet, but it's got like a lot of barrel char. I get like a bit of nail polish remover as well. Yeah, I'm getting a bit of that ethanol yeah. note on this one. A bit of pine. I swear the baseline didn't have that ethanol note. I think it did, but maybe a bit uh, fainter. I can't, I can't really remember. remember. I'm getting a bit of that banana from the what you said, the barrel. I'm getting a bit of pine. Yeah, fine. I'm really not getting much out of this, to be honest. Yeah, I don't know. It is pretty cold in here. It's pretty simplistic nose. It's um, stock standard, but it's missing like the deep brown sugar kind of notes and the it's not Cherry, super fruity. Yeah. It's got a little bit of tartness that might be like cherry-ish, mm. um, but you're right, it's missing a lot of the vanilla as well. Um, it's kind of just sitting there with a bit of the ethanol kick, barrel like oaky bitterness, a little bit of herbaceous like kind of, you know, pininess. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's not a whole lot going on with the nose. It's not, you know, amazing. Oh, palette's more aggressive than I was expecting to be honest. That ethanol really? still carries through. I got a butterscotch note there. Like it's really Did butter, you? buttery for me. Mine's like ethanol. It's like drinking pure ethanol with a f touch of barrel char. Uh, it's nice and charred for me, but it's also got this really kind of like clingy um, kind of creaminess, like butterscotch. But it's also got a weird saltiness, like salted butterscotch. That's <laughs> so like clinging just to the back of my the back of my tongue, like sea salt on top as well. Now that you've said it, yeah, it's a bit deeper and richer than the yeah. initial sip. Although, actually, it does have a little bit of that ethanol. Ethanol, yeah, there's yeah. definitely that. Yeah. It's it tastes really barrel. warm as well. A little bit of barrel bitterness. It's got this, I don't know, it's like weirdly rounded, but sharp at the same time. It's got this sharp ethanol note, and it's got barrel bitterness, but it's quite rounded in mm. the, like, it feels like all clingy and oily in a weird creamy sort of like way. I don't know, it's kind of hard to describe. There is more sweetness on the palate. It's definitely sure. more sweetness. But there's still no, not the levels like a, I don't know, <laughs> make it anything. Most others, yeah. Like it's sweet, but it's just not excessively sweet. Yeah. Uh, it's not super dry like you would with a wild turkey, yeah. like a 101, like it's not got those dry ethanol, you know, uh, not ethanol, um, you know, black tea notes and stuff. It does have that rye kick, um, but it's pretty uh, faint. It's like in between both of them. It's not too heavy on either side, yeah, it's right down sure. middle. I'm not sure it's particularly anything is the problem. Yeah, it's not a nice balanced middle, it's kind of lost. A yeah, bit. it feels like, like it they've feels watered bit, it down. Yeah, it feels somehow. a little bit cut off. Like it's it's a very quick, I've got a little bit of, an, uh, of a finish, like a, again, that weird saltiness and creaminess, but I don't know, it's pretty, it's not, it's not super complex. Well, even the finish, I've just got that numbing sensation. Mm. There's no flavor. My tongue's just numb. I'm also missing the fruits. I'm getting that dry barrel uh, char, that new oak char, but I'm not really getting a lot of fruits, except for maybe like a date or something. Mm. I just got a marshmallow. It's yeah, like there's a some weird toasted sweetness yeah. to it. Yeah. And now like the I'm getting like caramel. Mm. It's probably it's more weird. molasses, but. That bitterness is kind of what takes over, like, but with this weird salty kind of creamy note. Mm. Um, but it's not, I don't know, it's not, I'm not enjoying this that, that much. 100 bucks? I'm just no trying idea. to think. 
I don't know, this one's weird. I remember enjoying it more last time I tried it. I've always got that ethanol note, but not yeah, as much as I've too. got tonight. I I'm not why. getting it that much tonight, but I'm just enjoying it a bit less tonight. I don't know. It's I'm getting weird. more fruits now on the nose, going back to the it. The nose, it's weird. The, initially, it would smell a little bit boring and then tasted more flavorful. And now I don't really, I'm not particularly enjoying the palate that much. It's okay, but now the nose is smelling mm. a bit more, like you said, fruity. It's a bit more lively. Maybe it's just too cold. Yeah. yeah, but it's also palates and stuff. Like I just ate and you haven't eaten for a while, so that's probably why I'm getting completely different notes with yeah. some of the other things. Like it's just it's weird. It's a lot later than we normally review. Mm. We normally review like midday. This is like, you know, 6 p.m. now. I don't know, warm toasted I'm, marshmallows with a yeah. fair amount of like bitterness and uh, like barrel bitterness from the new oak barrels. And a lot of like ethanol. A decent amount of ethanol. <sighs> weird kind of... Weird tannins. I know, dried, yeah, dry it's tannins really and weird. stuff. It's okay, but it's it's it needs to be sweeter and fruitier for me. Like I need more mm. caramelized brown sugars. Yeah. Those like apple and, you know, cherry notes. Um, and even more rye notes. Like it just needs more of something. It's and cut little, down on the It just feels yeah. like it was just a bit of middle and it was missing all the other stuff. The dark, really dark it seems notes rushed. and the really nice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Could have been rushed, but. But I did remember enjoying it more the last time we had it. So it could totally be that. Um, but yeah, so. I feel like we're shitting on this. It's not horrible. No, I don't mind it. It's just. I just. Yeah. Uh, what I feel like we sound more negative because I don't remember it. I remember liking it more the last time we tried it, mm. is why I'm kind of like a bit, you know, not disappointed, but like, you know, apprehensive or Actually or got some aftertaste know. then. Bit of Grape Hubba Bubba. Grape Hubba Bubba. <laughs> Very specific. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, how you possibly got that, but fair enough. I'm still getting it. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let us, we like Old Forester, like one of, which one is the one that Roy got us? The 1920. That was like one of our favorite bourbons. It's Even amazing. the baseline is really baseline good for a well. price. This yeah. one at the moment. Maybe for a hundred bucks, I don't know about this. No, there's other options. The rest, 101. The rest are all um, are very good and value-wise, they're pretty good. But um, this yeah, one- Yeah, the hundred bucks range, there's just better options. There are better options yeah. at a hundred bucks, yeah. No, definitely. Um, let us know what you think of Old Forester. Uh, their lineup is pretty extensive. Uh, we've only tried three of them so far, so if you've got mm. any recommendations for us, let us know in the comments. But yeah, if you enjoyed this episode of Everything Whiskey, leave us a like. If you want to see future episodes from us, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button. If you do, we'll see you next one. Cheers. Cheers.